I'm in my car on my way to the actual YouTube office. I received an email from Mia, specifically asking, because I live in the Bay Area, if I would be willing to participate in a user study. I don't exactly know what the hell that means, but I'm going into San Bruno to the YouTube office to sit in on this user study uh, and, I guess, answer questions about my, uh, my uh, involvement with YouTube and my YouTube experience, I guess. I don't know. Um, but since I have time, because I'm driving from Santa Clara to San Bruno, I figured I'd uh, talk a little bit about the weekend, the YouTube gathering in New York City. In my experience, it was a good, it was a good thing. In my, in my estimation, in my opinion, it was a good thing. I thought the weekend was great. Um, personally, I enjoyed a lot more the intimate parts of the, of, the, of the weekend than the actual gathering itself. Like, for example, the, the karaoke bar? Yeah, there were a lot of people, but there were like, I'd say, you know, 80 YouTubers. And all of them active members of the YouTube community. It wasn't just people who went to YouTube to watch videos and saw people. I mean, these are people that posted videos, people that were actively involving themselves in the community as a whole. So it was really cool to be able to talk to so many different people and just, you know, interact. And it it's, it's, it's gives you perspective because you see, hey, I watch your videos all the time, or hey, I know you because of so-and-so. And it was like, you know, it was like seven, it was a six degrees of separation. Um, using YouTube as, as, as the Kevin Bacon in this particular instance. It was, it was really, really cool. The gathering itself was just big. I mean, I would say it was five times as large as the San Francisco gathering, at least. There was like 500 people there. And from what I could see, I'm sure there were more. You know, there are some estimations that say there were 1,500. Anybody who said there was about 100 is on crack. There were about 500 people in that park. I didn't get as much video as you guys were hoping I would because of the fact that it was just so involved. There were so many people and the sun just sucked the life out of me, man. We got, we went, me, Bat Tim, Sabernig, and P Pipistrello went to breakfast that morning. And as soon as we stepped out of the, um, out of the, out of the restaurant and started walking down the street, you know, it was about 11, 30, 12 o'clock and the sun had getting up there. Man, it just drained me. I was walking around for a little while. Um, I got some clips I'll show you guys where I was starting to get into my thing. And then it just, the sun just just bleached all the, all the energy out of me. So I didn't get as much as I'd like. So what I'm going to try to do to make up for that is do a couple videos of recalling my experiences and tell you guys what I saw and what I thought. And I hope that'll be sufficient. I mean, believe me, there are plenty of videos that are going to be up on YouTube. And I think that the thing that everybody's doing right now is really cool, which is they're pacing themselves. You know, It's not like the San Francisco gathering where everybody put their videos all at once and people were just overwhelmed and overstimulated. You know, people were releasing them over time. They're giving people a chance to breathe. They're giving people a chance to recoup, and then you get a little bit of taste here, a little bit of taste there, a little bit of taste here, a little bit of taste there. I think that's great. So um, you guys won't be swamped with the uh, 777 videos, unless you do a specific search for just the 777 videos. But overall, I think you're, uh, you know, the, what you're getting fed will be will be pretty healthy. Um, the experience for me, like I said, the intimate experiences were a lot more um, enjoyable. I got a chance to really meet people. At, like at the karaoke bar on Friday night, that was super cool. Uh, the dinner gathering that like grew. It started with just a few of us. Like there was, I'd say, eight or nine of us in the beginning, and then it grew to like 20, 12, and then 20, and then 25. So we went from one table to two table to three tables of YouTubers just talking. You know, it was it was um there was something that happened there that I wasn't too happy with at the dinner, but other than that, you know, um, the whole experience itself was was really really good. And then that night, you know, sat, uh, Saturday night, everybody was hanging out in front of the club quarters. They were, you know, after the, um, they went to that bar with the overpriced drinks and the lousy music. They came back to the club and they were hanging out in Sari Cray's room for a while and then they got booted out of there because people were just being too loud or whatever. And so we, they went downstairs and everybody went downstairs to the, to the club room and then eventually just went out front and hung out on the, uh, you know, hung out on the pavement. And, you know, uh, Zipster, and Ian Crossland, and Katie's Opinion, and her crew, and Nut Cheese, and Bat Tim, just all kinds of people were just hanging out and just bullshitting. It was really, really cool. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop this. I'm going to take the camera with me, like I said, to the YouTube offices. If they'll let me come in, I'll record it and show you guys what's going on. And then uh, give you guys my final word on the, what happened today, the YouTube thing, and a little bit more information about the gathering. So stick around, folks. More information's coming. I'll be getting some videos up. I'll start on my interviews. All that stuff. A lot of people apparently asked me when I was at the, a lot of people asked me when I was at the 777 gathering about the interviews. I was actually kind of uh, kind of overwhelmed by the amount of people that were asking about when it was going to happen next. And for those of you that actually pay attention, my username is Raven Laughs, not Wingspans Radio. 
I had several. I had more people come up to me and say, "Hey, wingspans," than they did, "Hey, Raven laughs." Ah, it's crazy. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna shut this off now, and uh, we'll see what happens next. So stay tuned. All right, folks. So I'm standing outside of the YouTube building in San Bruno, California. I've uh, arrived, wandered around because I sort of ended up somehow behind the building, is where I was led to. But uh, I am now going to enter the sanctum of sanctums. This is where all of your hard work, your editing, your producing, your acting, and your performing. I'll get sucked through the internet and stuck somewhere in a dark room. Most likely air conditioned to the point where your nipples would freeze off, because that's usually what they do in server rooms. Going inside, gonna see what happens. I'm here a little bit early, so they may not have room for me yet, but we'll see. So hang on. We're about to break the fourth wall and bring YouTube together with the viewers that use the site known as YouTube. So here we go. Uh, sadly, YouTube, you weren't allowed to come with me up into the actual YouTube building, but uh, it's really kind of cool. It's a rather large area. I went through a user uh, study. Uh, I'm not allowed to talk about the stuff that was said because I signed an NDA specifically stating that I wouldn't say what I was talking about, but I can tell you this much. YouTube is interested in knowing what the community itself is doing, what they're thinking. They were asking questions about the perspective of a user on the site and what I see and what I want to see and things like that. So um, they are taking an interest in what's going on. Um, you know, they do listen. Some of the questions that I brought up that I wanted to know about, um, they're investigating into that stuff. I didn't get any very specific answers, but believe me, I asked specific questions. So uh, we'll see. Uh, but it was cool. Hopefully the, um, the suggestions that, that were brought up and that were made uh, will be implemented and then YouTube will be taking a direction that I think is kind of cool and hopefully other people will be uh, will, will have their ideas implemented and then soon YouTube will be a site that's designed by the, the users themselves and that's a really cool thing. So there are upgrades coming and people are going to do stuff. Don't worry, I don't know any special secrets so I'm not hiding out or hiding any information from you guys. But, uh, yeah. So, here I am. I'll give you guys a quick view. This is the lobby area. It isn't very exciting. They're on the second floor, so you guys don't get to see nothing. But So there you go. I'm going to head home now, and then I'll upload this, and then you crazy guys and gals out there will have a first-hand experience.